Rocking with PettyBlog.com. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> oh, Petty. So they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it, y'all. New text messages have been leaked from insiders that reveal that Takeoff actually lost his life by accident. Yes, you heard that right. So let's get into those messages verbatim. It says, so Quavo was shooting dice and he was getting his pockets broke off bad. So dude had an attitude and he tried getting aggressive with the wrong mob type nigga. Not gonna drop names. And dude got on his then somebody they was with jumped up and that's when everybody bunched up then just start ringing but they were coming from somebody migos was with but he was shooting wild and hit take off on accident and the other start shooting back and i think he got hit again but ultimately his own him because when he got hit the first time i seen his body just drop quavo was plexed up over some small it really wasn't worth it takeoff was the coolest quietest in the room the whole time he wasn't saying a word just chilling in the cut and didn't even know what was going on he just jumped up and got out of nowhere houston for show sure about to be a no fly zone because mob supposed to be protecting these artists and then the last thing says this was moments before and as you guys see that's quavo right there shooting dice or whatever with the dice in his hand and he has the same outfit that he has in his last story it was flying through the town man Wow, that was so hard to digest, y'all. And in case you did not understand what any of that meant, in other words, Migos' own homie shot Takeoff by mistake because he was lit and trigger happy. And Takeoff had nothing to do with it. He was in the cut, quiet, chilling, minding his own business, and trying to clear the room when he got shot. That's so, so crazy, y'all. And it's also being reported that Quavo didn't want to pay $7,000, y'all. 7K. That's what this is over. So ultimately Takeoff had nothing to do with what was transpiring, but he was just there. And also keep in mind that in Quavo's last Instagram story before this happened, he showed himself heading to the event, you know, the bowling alley before it happened, right? In a car with his three boys. And guess what, y'all? His boy in the front seat actually had the blicky on him, if y'all know what I mean. And it's visibly in this video, y'all, which we have blurred out for you guys, cause you know this is YouTube and we're trying to keep it friendly. Yo, we sliding through the town, man. We sliding through the town. But yeah, and this is allegedly the weapon that was used that accidentally led to the passing of this 28 year old rapper. I'm speechless, y'all. Keep in mind though that the story is still developing. Once again, rest in peace, take off. Take. Take.